right on the outskirts of Edgewater. Solid tenant base here. We're getting a ton of rental demand here. Eight fifty a pop for these units at one hundred nineteen nine, with very minimal work that you need to do. If you're a local landlord, this is what I would consider to be a perfect starter property, right? This is the kind of things that I like to see local cats uh, in the DI wires get started with, right? It's a nice blank canvas. Hell, if you're a, a, a house hacker, you could do it. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, saying it's selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't wise to you, giving it to you straight. Today's deal, folks, right on the outskirts of Edgewater, right? Little little fringe neighborhood action happening here. 2054 West 98th, 44102. Priced at 199, right? If you're in the heart of Edgewater, obviously you ain't picking up a duplex for 199, right? Uh, but you go just a little bit south, and we got the deal skis, man. This thing. Uh, came to Holton Wise, right? It's a mom and pop landlord, a longtime owner. They decided they no longer uh, wanted to be in the rental property business. And they're like, hey, man, can you sell this to your investors? And we're like, hey, man, absolutely. Because that's what we do, man. Now, the property is actually in uh, pretty good shape, right? They just recently uh, removed both of their tenants. They felt like this would be the easiest way for them to sell it, uh, which does make for a very easy and convenient process for everybody watching, right? So we got audience uh, from out of state, right, for you folks, just so you know, if you want Holton Wise to take over to management after the sale, we absolutely can. Local landlords, if you guys want to actually physically get inside of this particular property, let us know. We'll make that happen. Sales at HoltonWise.com is how you'll set that up. Additionally, local cats, if you have your own real estate agent information on how they can get you inside of this, and you can take a tour with them if you prefer, uh, information on how they can accomplish that is going to be on the MLS, right? This thing really doesn't need much, y'all. Uh, truth be told, the downstairs unit, right? Uh, not the color I would have chosen, but guys, that's just paint. That's just changing the color. You got to do that after a tenant turnover almost every time anyway, so that's not a big deal, right? You replace this, like, I don't know, like yellowy-ish ugliness with, like, you know, an agreeable gray or a white or something like that. Dude, you're rocking and rolling. Clean it up, rock out some neutral colors, clean up the upstairs, you're rocking and rolling on this sucker with $1,700 a monthly rent coming in for an investment of $120,000 plus the little turnover costs, right? You're probably looking at a few grand per unit to turn these suckers over, get them rocking and rolling, right? If you're a local landlord, this is what I would consider to be a perfect starter property, right? This is the kind of things that I like to see local cats uh, in the DI wires get started with, right? It's a nice blend blank canvas. Hell, if you're a, a, a house hacker, you could do it, right? You could pick this sucker up with an FHA loan, right? My first deal that I ever did before I sold $200 million worth of real estate, folks, was a house hack that I picked up for $85,500. That particular house hack helped propel me uh, to where I am today. And as a matter of fact, we actually uh, did a video on that particular house hack, how I, I turned that one deal back in the day when I was managing a Radio Shack making, like, no money uh, into the career that I was able to build in the real estate business. So I'll go ahead and put that in the notes below because if you're out there and you're thinking, like, yo, dude, let me try this house hack and does it actually work, uh, that's essentially the blueprint of how to start with next to nothing and actually create yourself uh, you know, turn yourself into somebody with a net worth of over a million dollars. You can absolutely do it. Uh, I walk you through that process. It's not as pie in the sky as you guys think. Uh, if you actually make some reasonable decisions, uh, decisions that start with doing those types of deals on properties like this, you can make it happen for yourself, right? But again, also works great for out-of-state investors or just pure landlords, right? Because we're in, like I said, right on the outskirts of Edgewater, solid tenant base here. We're getting a ton of rental demand here 850 a pop for these units at 119.9 with very minimal work that you need to do it's a pretty solid deal uh, it is not currently lead certified though of course so folks if you're not going to 
to owner occupy the thing you do need to get it lead certified not to worry though information on how you can go ahead and get this particular property lead certified is also in the notes below we did like a 30 minute tutorial because you know anything that the uh you know rock stars at the uh, government are going to create is going to, of course, have logistical issues. Uh, so we were able to take the actual process, which in my opinion is more convoluted than it needs to be, and we were able to kind of lay you guys out with a roadmap and kind of simplify that for you guys so you guys can understand it. Because last time I checked, there is like thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of rental units in the city of Cleveland right now that are not lead certified. And a lot of that, uh, well, some of it's because, you know, landlords and some people are just like, yeah, screw that, I'm not doing it. Uh, that's part of it. Uh, but the other part, the the bigger part, the more important part, I think, is uh, the process is a little confusing and, and they're actually, them getting the process out to the general public. Uh, I think they could have done better on that as well. Uh, so we took it upon ourselves because we are here to help educate and inform investors like you guys. Uh, so check out that lead certification video. If you're a non-owner occupant, that will apply to this property or any rental property in the city of Cleveland. Even if you don't want to buy this particular property, if you're going to be investing in the Cleveland market, that information is information you need to know because you need to understand that when you're doing your due diligence before you actually buy these properties. Uh, if you decide that you do want to buy this particular property, all you have to do is send an email to me. Uh, Include the amount you want to offer plus your pre-approval or your proof of funds, right? Send that right to sales at com. It's like, hey, I want to make an offer on 2054 West 98th. 119.9 is my offer. I want to play cash. Here's my proof of funds. Or I want to finance it. Here's my pre-approval letter. Or, hey, man, I want to buy it, but I need a lender. Don't worry. Just send me that email. Let me know. I'll get you uh, a list of our lenders, and they could help investors in all 50 states as well as local cats in the city of Cleveland uh, get these types of loans. We're talking non-owner occupied loans, folks, uh, which is the majority of people that buy from us, right? 25% down, okay, 30-year fixed interest, or this one, since it's empty, would work great for house hackers like I was talking about earlier. You can pick this sucker up for 3.5% down, right? So like literally like five grand or less, right? If it's 100,000, that's 3,500 and I don't know, 3% of 20. We're just going to call it five because I don't feel like busting out a calculator right now. But like if you got five G's in the bank, dude, you could put yourself on the path to making millions in real estate, right? You're going to go ahead, get yourself a property, cover that roof over your head, and go ahead and have that tenant pay off your mortgage, right? Your biggest cost in the world is probably going to be your housing costs, right? That's how you can go from somebody who's not making a lot of money to being a millionaire uh, over the course of a decade, right? It's very doable. And again, that uh, video I told you guys about where I did it in 10 years. It was actually less than 10 years, uh, but that video is in the notes below. Check that out. Check out the lead video, and if you want to buy this property or get a tour of this particular property, send the email to sales at holtonwise.com. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.